Okay, Rick, it's done, and uh, I was successful in getting the uh, bezel on there without cracking the insert. It was a pain in the butt, though, but uh, I figured out a way that I could basically use my other press and then put two pieces of um, very thin uh, rubberized like foam in between to basically act as like shock absorbers so that when the metal actually con contacted each other, it would it would help to absorb the shock somewhat um anyhow it worked uh so that's good um oh, what else am i gonna tell you oh i was gonna say i did you get this case from uh namoki mods um I, I think you did because i think i noticed that the container it came in um or the packaging looked like it was from uh namoki's but um the case itself with the Namoki uh, cases, for um, some reason or another, the the uh, tolerances on them aren't exactly um, on par with Seiko's. So you have the movement um, will fit very loosely inside the case, and then also there's a tube that goes the you know obviously the crown screws down onto. Well, that tube when it goes into the actual inside of the case has um the tube extends far enough out where it will um hold on let me show you on a uh, movement okay this is a stock skx um movement spacer dial holder uh, that goes around the movement and you'll see right there there's that opening well that's where the the stem goes through and so essentially this goes around the dial or around the movement, I should say, like such, and then drops into here. Well, when it drops into the case like that, that tube will extend out and have like two tabs that comes off of it that basically hold, go right into where that opening is and hold the uh, movement from moving back and forth each way. Um, on the... NH36 movements, the NH36 movements come with this ring, which has a smaller, uh, smaller um, or tighter, I guess you could say, opening than the um, SKX uh, holder does, the, the diver style holder does. So being that it's skinnier, they this case was essentially made for NH36 uh, or NH35 uh, um, builds completely from the ground up. So they took that into consideration and actually made that tube that comes out of there uh, just wide enough to fit into that opening there. And so when you use the um, SKX movement and drop it in here with the black ring, being that that opening is wider, it allows it to kind of shift back and forth so the movement will actually um how do you say like go like move like this back and forth inside the case um and then being that it's also loose it's gonna you know move around like that so when you unscrew it then the whole movement is loose inside there essentially because it's not being held down by the tension of the crown being screwed in so being that you're using your skx movement um you know, and hole and dropping it in. Uh, typically, I could have switched out this, taken everything apart, the dial off, the hands off, put this ring on the movement, and then dropped it in. But you're using your stock case back, which on a stock case back, the threads are not as tall as they would be for an NH36 because on the NH36 rings, they're actually thinner than the black ones, believe it or not. So then you have, you know, vertical slop in it as well. So anyhow, with all that being explained, I had to fashion a um, gasket to go around the um, movement holder, the dial holder uh, in between the threads and the actual spa uh, spacer itself so that it would take up that clearance and hold everything tight and in place in there. So now when you unscrew the crown, And pull it out the movements held in place you can hear the rotor spinning but the movements not going to slop around 
And uh, this was also especially difficult for the simple fact that in the process of doing that, I had to find a way to keep how I had positioned the uh, chapter ring uh, before, you know, when I put the crystal and everything and press that down because the crystal holds the chapter ring in place. I had already done that. So now I had to make sure that when I did the uh, gasket in there to hold that movement spacer in place that it didn't cause the movement to move and that everything stayed perfectly aligned. I was able to pull it off and it was a pain in the butt, but uh, everything's done, man. I got it done and it worked out and you're good to go. I'll get all your original parts packaged up and uh, I'll send you over the uh, email with the uh, information to uh, pay. All right, thanks.